you wanna know what happened yesterday? This. All this. I know, it's great. Thankfully, nobody's due until the middle of next week. And this should be our last snow. Never really know. It snowed in May once here, and it is what it is. But all the babies are doing well. Got pretty cold last night, like down into the mid-teens after being 70 degrees basically all week. So it's always a risk with that fluctuation. The cold is not really the issue, it's the fluctuation in temperature. Good morning! Everybody seems to be doing well. I did plug in the heat lamp, but I think for the most part my mom and goat slept under that. So you can see everybody's doing their thing. Wet is usually worse than the actual cold. All this should melt today, it's gonna be 40, and it's not very thick. I think we got maybe like three inches, maybe four. It's very fluffy, but the snow itself is very fluffy, so I guess they knocked their water out. Uh, it's water, it's a constant battle. I didn't bring any out this morning, I probably should have. What's really great is it's gonna start melting this morning and they'll be run off into their buckets. They wouldn't drink the water because it was outside, because it was snowing, and so then I had to kind of bring in, and then they kept dumping hay in it. It was a whole thing. We had a virtual school yesterday, today's Saturday. I was here all day with them, kind of watching. It is very, it's in the 20s this morning. Yeah, it is poppers. So one more week, and then spring break. Pixie, Twizzy, Poppy are all due spring break. Padme's due next week. And then Cece is due the week after spring break. And then if the giraffe is pregnant, she would also be due sometime the week after spring break or the following week. Still skeptical. Let's get everybody fed. So the feed store has been out of pig food, and so the pigs are not real thrilled about having to eat sweet feed. I actually bought them some like mini pig feed. It comes in a smaller bag for the same price, which is really annoying because it's the same food. Last week, because I didn't have any, but I can't, it's just not economical for me to spend the same price on 20 pounds of feed that I would spend on 40 pounds of feed, just because it's labeled for mini pigs and the content of the feed is not that different. Good morning, snow animals. How is everybody? How is everybody? You guys all have water. There you go. This is why our spring break isn't uh, for another week because it's always super cold and they try to push it as late as possible and hoping that we'll have nice weather for the break. Not super unusual for it to snow this late in March here, but it is a lot like this usually, like not a big, not a big snow. He enjoyed it. Uh, the pigs escaped yesterday. So this was the result of getting them back in. We were only supposed to get really like an inch or two and I think we ended up with three or four. It kind of dumped for like three hours really fast. It also wasn't a very cold snow. Like it was in the upper 20s, like right at freezing. So, hello. Yes, mom's gonna need you to move on. Yep, go back up to the house. Ah, ah, ah. To the house. Go on. Mama, see you in a minute. Go get dog bone. Good job, bud. Really wanted to be out yesterday in the snow, obviously. So when I came out at seven o'clock, there was no snow on the ground. Like it was kind of, had just started. I knew we had an AMI day, 
so I got here about 7 instead of about 6 30 because I had meetings start pretty early but by like 9 the ground was covered so I left everything open for them of course they won't get out when anything's falling from the sky This is our next lady that's due sometime next week. Probably due dates like around Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't remember specifically. Look how pretty you are. Mm-hmm. So I've been checking tail ligaments. Very tight. A little bitty under. See nothing yet, but we're still about four or five days. But she has definitely wanted the pets. Let's go check on baby goats, Padme. So yesterday Zelda took chunk all the way out there to the gate he was really cute hopping in the snow so he follows on instagram got to see that i couldn't film yesterday because i had to work all day long mom needs to do a reload on the hay doesn't she what did chai uh so i guess i haven't told you guys i didn't think about this so we named this one chunk because he's huge. And somebody in the comments was asking like if I weighed them, and I did, I didn't realize that didn't make it into the video until I watched it back. He was 4.2 pounds at birth, and Nigies are normally like two to two and a half pounds in birth, at birth. His sister was two and a half pounds, so she was like normal size for a Nigerian, and he was about twice as big as he should have been. So you can kind of see he's as big as Marshmallow. And he's a week and a half younger. Hey Mocha. Much more. Let's find sister. Where's sister? Here's mama goat. We put the scoops down. Uh, goat moms have such different personalities. And I tend to forget that we've missed breeding Zelda three different times. So I want to say this is only her third or fourth kidding. I'd have to go back and look specifically. It's the first girls she's ever had, but no more than four kiddings on our farm versus this is everyone else's sixth kidding. Like, at least. She kidded one time before she came to us. There she is. So this one, its name is Miracle because that's what her family chose to name her. Uh, so she's not with the food theme, but that's okay because I um, know her family that she's going to. She was reserved, so that was what they wanted to call her. Which is good with me. I didn't have to think up a name, and we'll call her what her family will call her. Sorry, Wiz. What do you think, Miracle? Oh, goodness. Hi, Junkers. Hi, Lumba. So that's what we chose to name them. Chunk, like Chunky Monkey, or Chocolate Chunk Cookie. He kind of looks like a little chocolate chip cookie, but I've been calling him Chunky Monkey because he's just so big, but he is gorgeous. You just gotta get that ear all straightened out. You got kind of a funky ear. I think just because he was crammed in there, it happens. They are doing well. All the babies are doing well. Growing, almost feeding those two. I feel like I'll update you guys when we do birth videos because birth usually takes up a whole video. Hi! Hi, sweet boy! What are you doing? Screams his head off when he gets picked up. Uh, this is my buddy, so I think he's gonna be the friendliest. They've all gotta go get disbudded next week. The four bigger guys. Yes, you've headed to Horn Buds. You're a good boy. 
Uh, and mocha is pretty friendly too. Marshmallow is just wild. It's always bouncing all over the place. Uh, and Chai got really mad at me because she got a little chilled this week. I had to put her in my coveralls and warm her up. And so now she's not, not very excited about me, but we'll get over that. I am excited for it to be really warm next week. They're big enough to really get out. Moms were bringing them out toward the end of last week. And that means I can go sit in the pasture and they will play. And that's really when a lot of the work to make these guys friendly gets done. I hold them a lot when they're real small. But what I prefer is to sit out there and let them kind of come to me and crawl all on me and play and realize, um, you know, that Pixie, not to be mean, that the human is fun and safe. And, and then when they're um, a little bit older, we'll, they'll start eating grain more and then you get to be the um, food person which is fun so we did have the vet come out and see bunny and i don't you really can't see but like that whole you can see how her under is all lopsided that oh gosh just totally got knocked over by the giraffe and i'm gonna work on cleaning her up some more i've, I've cleaned her up several times but not getting that udder shaved no mastitis the vet came out it was definitely like an injury to that side of her udder, a congested udder. She couldn't even put antibiotics in her teeth because it was just scar tissue. No concerns about anything else. And now we're a little over two weeks postpartum and it has pretty much healed itself. She had a really big bruise in there. It's gone down. She's not gonna produce milk on that side, but the vet was really confident that if we bred her next year, everything would be fine. That was good news for Bunny Bear. So she's doing great. And I've had no other issues with anybody else. Look at this udder on Poppy already. She's got two weeks to go. Need to get that shaved. Close these guys in for the night. Everybody's had dinner. Chai's out here with her mama. Everybody else is in a bundle that have stacked up to go to sleep. Yeah. She's always with her mama. She's so funny. Hi, sweet baby. Are you still mad at me? It's a little bit. She looked very cold that day. If you followed me on Instagram, you saw me put her in my coveralls. Hello, goat. We're not going anywhere. And she was shaking. I could never quite figure out what was wrong with her. But I took her temperature. She was plenty warm, and she wasn't too warm. So she was like right at perfect baby goat temperature. So I don't really know. The buns think she wants to escape. Do you want to escape, buns? Hey, there's a strong possibility. I am taking them this week to go get disbudded because their families uh, are they're gonna be show goats so I will be taking all four of the babies the older babies and then the following week probably over spring break I'll take Zelda's babies and have them disbudded our vet likes them about 10 days old two weeks to 10 days they'll be a little 14 15 days for marshmallow and more and then a little bit right in the right range for the other two. It's easier for me to take them all at once. But I don't want to wait anymore because I can start to feel little horn buds. And we'll wait another week. On these guys, he's probably big enough to go. She is not and I don't really want to take her by herself. But I feel pretty good about everyone else. Move the feeder back out because it's not going to rain. It's going to be in the 70s this week and just perfect. We'll probably have one more video this week that's not a birth video, but then next week we'll probably at least have one. And then over spring break, quiz, pixie, poppy.
He's just now noticed his dear friends are here. Oh. 